You know, I think Thanos was right. That they, and by they I mean the up-and-coming generations, the United States, the world, they won't remember what was, only what was given, okay? Because the country has been taken hostage. And cults of personality, they dominate the right, which it should pale in significance when compared to any real objectives here, okay? And really, I feel like the true patriots and conservatives are backed into a corner, because it seems like you can't call out someone like Trump, even when it's warranted. So loyalty to a politician... I believe, should take a back seat when it comes to self-defense and things like the Constitution and other arguments that can be made uh, for and against Trump. And the left? Well, geez, you know, the left is little more than a rabid animal foaming at the mouth, instinctively lunging at anything it sees as opposition. And that's slowly becoming the mindset on both the left and the right. And that's what I mean on this channel when I'm talking about being dug into party politics. I'm talking about engagement on the political level to stick it to the other side, even if it's to the detriment of America or yourself ultimately. Okay, we're at the point where now, if Trump were to call martial law or something like that, okay, his base would support it regardless of evidence that supports that uh, it won't be declared to round up enemies of the people. It will be round. It will be used to round up the people. Okay, just look at the language in Rex 84. Okay, you guys don't understand when I'm talking about this stuff i'm talking to you about things that was once and currently is in government drawers okay this isn't some airy fairy pie in the sky type stuff this is real stuff that i'm talking to you about that the government once had plans for depending on the situation and depending on the time okay this is interesting stuff it's out there and really, what gets me is that the generations that are up and coming now are virtually clueless of what things were like before. And again, that line in Avengers Endgame when Thanos basically said he's going to create a world that only remembers what's been given and not what it's lost. Okay, that's what we're talking about. That's what the powers that be are essentially jockeying for. And really, the, the best... Um, the best example of that would be Generation Alpha, which is essentially the children of the millennials, okay? The generations that are growing up now, they're in an age where basically all information is consolidated. So you only you only know what they want you to, okay? And that's what I mean when I was talking about, you know, 85 to 90 percent of the media back in 1983 was distributed among, you know, 50 or more companies. But now, if you'll fast forward to 2006, 2012, it's only just a handful, okay? They'll be in this newish world where they don't even know, you know, what a cassette tape is. And that was before their time, so why would they? And unfortunately, with each generation, much like the cassette tape, certain rights and freedoms will and already do go the same way. And that's that's what's scary. I think that's what I think that's why there's keen information that can be gleaned uh, from older generations who had their minds and ears open, okay, before the almost total consolidation of news outlets. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Before that 90% consolidation of of news media. You know, these older generations who were alive uh, back when we had real investigative journalism. Okay, and not some reporter reading from a teleprompter, you had a chance at getting some real information. Okay, and that's what I think can be gleaned today from our predecessors of yesterday. Because even though 50, 60 years ago was a time when people really had their minds wired shut, it's those who didn't and questioned things that has given us the proverbial gold today. Okay, information is what we're talking about. And one of the things I appreciate in information is versatility and diversity, depending. Okay, which is why my channel runs the gambit of esoteric topics. I'll touch on anything from Trump to UFOs, okay? Things generally people aren't too keen on. And I think by doing that, I'm able to, to reach more people because I don't pitch a tent and I don't camp on one side or one subject. People tend, like I said before in my, my last video, they tend to get specialized, much like how we get entrenched into the left-right paradigm. So they only look at government cover-ups or banking malfeasance or secret societies, you know, etc. And this can cause division, just like pitching your tent on the, on the side of the left or right, okay? People will say, you know, you're not a real patriot if you focus on anything other than 9-11. You have to understand secret societies before anything. The the UFO phenomena is what really matters. Don't you know that banking malfeasance should be what you're focusing on? There's all these things. <laughs> and really, you'll never get the full picture if you don't look at it all as one big ball of wax. And if you throw certain subjects out of hand haphazardly, you won't see the picture for what it is because you just threw out a huge piece of the puzzle. And that's the point I was making in my last video, is that if you throw any of this stuff out out of hand, you won't really know what's truly going on. And really, how could you? But I've said it before, and I think this to be true, that I believe that people are going to believe whatever they want to believe, regardless of the verifiable evidence to the contrary, okay, regardless of what the facts and evidence totally supports. And that's essentially where we find ourselves again with the party politics and a lot of these esoteric subjects where people just haven't had enough time to look into it. Um, they don't want to go through the reams of material. They don't want their brains to hurt. But a lot of this stuff is just a cursory understanding to know that there's deception in key areas of our life where decision-making goes on 
on that impact us ultimately in a negative way. And that's that's just continues to happen. And getting caught up in the cult of personality d- doesn't help. You know, people digging their heels into the point where they'll endorse measures to the detriment of themselves. That's what continually goes on here. And I think we need to start to look at that and reevaluate some of the things that we think to be true if we're really going to be successful in any initiatives or campaigns that can put power in the back of the hands of the people and sort, sort of try and get away from having these politicians who are power hungry just continue to stick it to us. Anyway, California Carter, signing off.